Episode 5, Betaflight Setup After successful binding, you need to configure the flight modes in Betaflight Configurator before takeoff. Make sure the Betaflight Configurator is updated to the latest version. Connect the Type-C data cable to the FC tuning port on the aircraft, and then connect it to your computer. Open Betaflight Configurator, navigate to the receiver page, and check if there is a signal from the receiver. Ensure that the throttle, yaw, and roll channel map setting correspond correctly. If the channel mapping is incorrect, adjust it to match your controller settings. If there is no signal, check the port channels and ensure that the receiver protocol is set correctly. ELRS and TBS receivers are set to the CRSF protocol by default. Open Betaflight and navigate to the modes page. Configure functions such as arm, angle, beeper, GPS rescue, and other settings based on your personal preferences. First, set the arm function for the aircraft. Arm disarm channel switch for arm and disarm the aircraft. Default factory setting is AUX1. We can directly press the SWA switch on AUX1, the preset AUX channel on the remote controller. The yellow indicator point below the status bar will start to blink. When the indicator is in the yellow section of the status bar, it means the function is triggered. When the indicator point is in the gray section, it means the function is turned off. The position of the status bar can be adjusted by dragging with the mouse, allowing you to position the indicator. Additionally, you can adjust the entry and exit points of the status bar to expand or shrink the positioning range of the indicator. For ELRS receivers, the arm channel must be set to a two-position switch on AUX1. Please refer to the official ELRS description for details. Next, set the angle mode for the aircraft. This mode is used to switch between angle mode and acro modes. The default setting is AUX2, the mode will remain in angle throughout the flight. We will use the SWB3 position switch on the remote controller to toggle between angle mode and acro modes. Flip the SWB switch, and the yellow indicator below the status bar will start blinking. When the indicator point is in the yellow section of the status bar, it means the angle function is triggered. When the indicator point is in the gray section, it means the acro mode is active. Next, we will set up the beeper function for the aircraft. This function helps locate the aircraft in case of an abnormal landing, making it easier to find its position. Note that Defender 20 Lite does not come with a built-in beeper by default. To enable the beeper function, go to the configuration menu and check the RX set option under the Shot Beacon Configuration section to activate the beeper through an AUX channel. Additionally, you can select your preferred beeper tone from levels 1 to 5. The beeper function is set to off by default on the aircraft. To enable it, scroll down to find the mode named Beeper and click Add Range and a yellow status bar will appear. Ensure that the drop-down menu on the left is set to Auto. Then, toggle the SWC3 position switch on the remote controller. The Betaflight will automatically detect the corresponding channel. When the yellow indicator below the status bar moves, it means the beeper function has been triggered. If the indicator is in the gray section, the beeper is off. We will set up the flip over after crash, turtle mode, function. This mode is useful when the aircraft crashes and lands upside down, preventing normal takeoff. By activating turtle mode and moving the pitch or roll stick, the aircraft will flip back into an upright position, allowing it to resume flight. In the modes menu, scroll down and find flip over after crash mode. Click add range, then toggle any unused switch on the remote controller. The beta flight will automatically detect the corresponding channel. Adjust the yellow status bar to match the indicator position, and the setup is complete. How do you use turtle mode function? If the aircraft crashes and lands upside down, first toggle the turtle mode switch, then toggle the arm switch. The motors will not immediately spin at idle speed. Instead, push the pitch or roll stick to make the motors on one side spin, flipping the aircraft back to a normal position. Once the aircraft is upright, reset both the turtle mode switch and the arm switch, arm again, and resume flight. 
It is noted that after configuring all mode functions, click Save in the bottom right corner of the Betaflight to apply the settings. That's all for this video. In the next episode, we'll introduce Remote Controller and TX Module setting.